One, you must believe in God and you must have faith. You must have faith and your desires. Number two, you must put family first. The Bible tells us that we can bless you. You must respect your father and mother. And in an African setting, your mother and father is anybody else who is the age of your mother and father, including your teachers. You must respect your others. And that starts from an early life. And that sets you into leadership. From there, you will be like me, a truthful man. You must be honest. You must say it as it is and take the consequences, whatever they are. There is beauty in being truthful. Today, the people of Kenya know that Rezrabi Gashagwa is a truthful man. I say it as it is. Kasarani, I stood before the whole world. I told the people of Kenya that we have inherited a broke country with nothing. I told the people of Kenya, even the stores, the rats had run away because there is nothing to eat. <laughs> Many people say that I'm a mischievous character. I am mannerless. I'm talking the truth in front of visitors. I said, with or without visitors, the truth remains truth. Today, I have been vindicted. What I said then has come to pass. And that is the hallmark of leadership. My good people, brothers and sisters, because leadership must start with waking up early is a blessing. A good day starts early. And you know and you for sure you know. Any day you are woken up late, by evening your day has been messed up. But if you start early, you plan your day, make all the difficult decisions in the first three hours in the morning when your mind is fresh. It's because your mind is not functioning as good. That is leadership. What difficult decisions you want to make? If you wake up at 6, make sure by 9 a.m. you have agreed within yourself what is it that you must do. In the afternoon, do routine things, call your friends, because you don't normal things. Once you have self-discipline, you start on a good footing. I want to say self-discipline encompasses taking care of yourself. For you to become a leader, you must be alive. For you to own a company, you must be alive. And you must be healthy, both mentally If you don't take care of yourself, you take hard drugs, you take illicit alcohol, chances are 50% you die before your time. Percent is that you become a zombie, a vegetable. You're just walking around, brooding. I was walking in the streets of Mombasa this morning at 6 a.m. So he was high on drugs. He could not even see where he's going at 6 a.m. in the morning. 